Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect. Last episode, we traveled to Pharos for the first time to gain more evidence on Saren, trying to follow his footsteps a bit and figure out why he sent the Geth to Pharos. We also learned uh, about Thorian, apparently is an alien life form that I believe takes control of people. But yeah, we're basically still exploring Pharos. Um, we did find a colony that was here that needed help, which we will help later on. But right now our main focus is the Geth. Skill too low, oh, it sucks, okay. Um, I think we just took down their ship last episode as well too, didn't we? assault rifle I I don't know what this omni gel is I think is it our like a currency I'm not sure what that is ah right, here we go there you are we should get out of here I don't think this place is safe uh in a minute I need some answers you knew more about the Thorian than you let on I I was afraid I wanted to stop the tests but they threatened me told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I, I never meant for this to happen. I mean, she seems pretty innocent to me, honestly. I don't see, I don't care. <laughs> That's so weird. I, I, I believe you. I believe you did her. what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Oh, sweet. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Okay. I just hope she doesn't die. Her mother would be s super mad. <laughs> She'd be very upset with me. Okay, so we're back here, I remember now. Where, where the hell are these geth? Bring them. Bring him. Okay, I guess we're returning her to her mother. Back this way. Back into the car. Off we go. Oh, oh. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just running them all over. The controls are really weird. Whenever, like, it, it depends on which way you have the camera. So when I have the camera this way and I push up. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't. <laughs> this is the front. Okay, it's the front. So it's normal. When I have the camera this way and I push up, it goes back this way. So, and if I push it this way, it, it's just really weird. You're kind of steering with the camera, honestly.
she just sitting there? <laughs> you can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! What's going on? Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Species 37, the Thorian more valuable than lives. These are all great answers. I forget what species 37 is. Um, You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. Oh, species 37, the 37 is. It's a telepathic right. life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. What? Why can't I use this? I'm ending this now. I can't let you do this. They won't miss you either. I'm ending this now. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon or be prepared to use it. If, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! Oh. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. He's, he was... It's my uh, fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. All right. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. All right, uh, where's my guy? Here he is, Gavin. I got your shit, dude. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. Hey, man, no, 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 no worries. I was it. there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. No problem, Gavin. Love you, bro. Okay. So now we're going after the Thorian. What is that? What the hell? That thing was not one of the colonists. No amount of infection could have done that.
No, we're not we're not killing the colonists. No hitting the colonists. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you would have it, Commander Shepard. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Sixteen colonists alive. Oh god, Jesus. I gotta open it myself. Oh shit. I need to get out of here. There it goes. How do I don't get grenades? Here we go. on them, right? Alright, I got four more grenades left, so I gotta use these wisely. further in this doesn't look like it all right looks like we're stuck here gotta go through this way all right remember we'll use grenades guys Wasted all my credits. Is there more? Okay, good. I got five more. Thank God. Supposed to be their leader. 
These people trusted me. Shit. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Why didn't you throw a fucking grenade? Oh, I feel bad. Oh God, dude. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad, guys. Good guys. Didn't kill any colonists. Hope we don't run into any into any more because I'm out of grenades. It's so dark. This way, I guess. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it what it here. What is that? That's large. We are gonna need bigger guns. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's large. What the hell is this? Oh, hell no. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I need what Saren came for. I'm here to make a deal. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. <sighs> Let the colonists go. I'm after Saren, enough negotiating. I'm not gonna- I'm gonna try my best to talk my way out of this. Um... I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Here we go. Your blood will feed the Fuck. Ground. Shoot this thing. Will it do anything? Over here, Commander. Definitely something different in this area. What is this? Might want to stand back. More of those, and it's in trouble. All right, we gotta find more. Um, this way, I guess. Looking for more uh, weak points. Ah, oh, she's back. 
probably pissed. She just fucking respawned, dude. Get her ass. Uh... Oh shit, get away from me. of them. Alright, this way. There's more of them. Shit. Fucking A. So many! Get them, guys. Get them. Fuck them up. Good Rex, you're here. Here we go. Fuck it up, team. All right, keep going. How many more do we have left? This fucking bitch. Trying to do it to him. Uh, what's shield boost? Do? Just boost all her shields. Wait, get away. Why do y'all keep killing my teammates? This fucking bitch over here. Hailing away. I'm about to fucking die! I'm about to fucking die! Oh. T 
Team. 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 I need health. Can you can y'all heal us somehow? Just shield boost is all. Get y'all shield up. Come on. Um no. Okay, well then. The way they run around. Ugh. Shit. Oh, this is the last one. Jesus. Fucking ah! Uh. Shit! Our first death. We have to start all the way back here. You're kidding me!
Teammates are down. <laughs> Get up. Up, guys. There it is. There it is. Get up, guys. Oh, y'all get up, lovelies. There you go. Let's go, team. I don't want to use the last heal, my last health kit, but I do, you know? Okay. I, I have to, I have to. Uh, no, don't use it, don't use it, don't use it, don't use it. That was intense shit. I think this is the last stage. I hope it's the last stage, because my guy's here, barely hanging on. Is she okay? I'm free. Oh! I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. You okay? Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. She pretty? My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Um, he tricked her. What do you mean? Quit making excuses. He tricked her. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's terrible. They were allies, serves you right. That's just so, who? I don't understand. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence oh, of his existence. Oh, that makes more sense. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What does it do? What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? 
The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the cipher is knowledge. I don't understand. Enough mystic crap. <laughs> so the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. There has to be some way. I need that information. You gave it to Saren. There has to be some way. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Oh, we're doing Slow, this now. deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. some Doctor Strange shit. Did it work? I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? Um, I'll be fine. She messed up my mind. I saw something it still didn't make any sense you have been given a great gift the experience of an entire people it will take time for your mind to process this information you look a little unsteady commander perhaps you should return to the normandy i'm sorry if you have suffered but there was no other way you needed the cipher in time it will help you understand the vision from the beacon tell me more about this ship saren has Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. Oops. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Yeah, that definitely backfired. <laughs> Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. I wonder if we can somehow turn her back in a way, but that's always so risky. 
What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of enveloped. it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Yo, you sound almost sad. It was an abomination. I can't let you go. What should I do with you? Uh, let's finish this conversation. Tell me, you Don't tell me sad. you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. Ascension being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. No. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Well, all right, um, what should I do with you? I should leave, I can't let you go. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. I can't let you live. Sounds good to me. A noble idea. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. Hopefully they understand. May fortune smile upon you. Hope they don't riot against you her. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding it. for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. Hell yeah! We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Sweet! Thank you, Commander. I definitely want to stay here a bit and help them out uh, with putting the colony back together. And they said they needed help with... Oh, 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 oh. With the... Uh... Yeah, that's done now. Okay, they said they needed help with... Um... A lot of the food, water, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk to some of these people here. Um... I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Gavin... Where are the other peeps at? I think they're gonna be this way. Let me see if they're around. Can I still- is that actually a thing? Can I actually still help with the colony and like... Or is it too late now? Anybody in here? Ah, here we go. What? Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Free? No. I can't believe I'm free. Can't talk to them. It... It doesn't hurt anymore. I can think my own thoughts again. We have a chance to start over, thanks to you. Food is still our immediate concern. Here we go. But we'll manage. I can fly food in. Uh, I'll help if I can. Why not do it yourself? I could ferry in more than enough food to cover your immediate needs. That would only help us in the short term. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days. We need to be self-sufficient. I'll help. I'll look into it when I get a chance. Thank yeah, you I definitely want to help them. You've already done so much. Um, okay, let's talk to the other people. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. Colonists. They need help with water too, right? And I forget what else. Like shelter or something? Go. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. I still need the power cells for power this generator cells. though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts None of my as the shit old helps. generator we've got. <laughs> 
Cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. All I appreciate right. it. I can think without pain. Thank you. You've given us a second chance. It's nice to have more mundane worries, like getting that water flowing again. I'll try to fly water in, but it's probably not going to work. I can bring in what Normandy. That would only help us in the short term, unless you plan to make a trip every few days. We need to be self-sufficient. I'll look into it if I have time. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I'll look into it if I have time. I'd appreciate that, Commander. Oh, goodbye. I should go. I wish you luck. All right, and uh, can I talk to her? No. Thank you for freeing us. You're welcome, you guys. I never thought I would be so thrilled Ooh. to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What are your plans now? What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. All right, I want a new fucking gun. Oh yeah, where can we? Oh no, I don't have the money. <laughs> I am broke. I'm extremely broke. Damn it. Um, I should probably sell some of this shit, huh? Let's see here. Armor upgrades. I have not messed with these upgrades at all. Okay, we definitely need to mess with the upgrades. I wish there was an easier way to. Here we go. Sort level. Um, I just don't know. Oh no, we keep that 102. Keep that 153. Keep that. Keep that. Sell this. Keep that. Armor upgrades. I don't even know these things had upgrades. I definitely need to mess with this more. Uh, saw this one, saw this one, saw this one. Uh, saw that one, saw this one. Oh wait, I should probably keep some stuff. Shit, I forget, because I have to save it for my team, my other members. God damn it. It's confusing. I wish I could kind of organize my shit better. Um, let me see what I can do as far as upgrades on my armor. Here we go. Um... Damage protection plus 50 shields, shield recovery, damage protection, health regeneration, hardening. You guys let me know what the best uh, upgrades are and stuff like that. Um, shield, smash damage, shield recovery, toxin, smash damage. Um, let's do this one. There we go. Okay, and then I have weapon upgrades. Shield bypass and damage. Might want to do that. That's important. Damage versus synthetics. Organics. Toxic damage. Weapons force. Round two. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Okay. We good. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.